And now here's the star of our show, Bob Hope. I just wanted to put my other lashes on for the last half. <laughs> the funny lashes. I, I won't ask where you were. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed it. I think, <laughs> I think it's this tea we're having. I may oh, be the nice. next one it's to nice. go. <laughs> no, I, I, you know, I was very late uh, getting over here. And I was a little concerned yeah. because the traffic had me hemmed in. And uh, then I met so many friends back there that I forgot. Can you remember where you first laid eyes on Crosby? I think at the Friars Club here, and uh, back about 32, and uh, did it, are you on a funny answer? No, no, I like the, I like the real ones, did it? No. Not that I don't No, but I did, I did, and then we yeah. played the Capitol uh, Theater here with Abe Lyman and an act called Cass Mack and Owen, yeah. and we became very good friends because we started working together and doing impressions of the president of the Coca-Cola Company meeting, the president of the Coca-Cola Company on the street, you know, and I played Pepsi, and we came said, Hi, hi. <laughs> that was. This is, this is the stuff. Folks, this is how you get started with a little gas, that's all. <laughs> no, I mean it. And then, oh, they died at that, you know. And, you've and later on, that. I did it with Cary Grant, this whole routine for the Victory Caravan, you know? Yeah. And two farmers meeting on the street, you know? Put, put, go like that. Go like that. Go two like farmers. That. Hi, Cy. Hi, Cy. How are things down the farm? All right. One of our all leading class, satirists. all French drama, you know. <laughs> it's amazing you've they never. They loved it. They loved it. Oh, and we, we went on, and Jerry Clone and I kept doing that. We did it up till the last uh, eight or ten years. Did it all the camps around the world during all the wars. Yeah. And it always played. How how many? Some close shaves have you had in all that traveling? Uh, well, here. we had a couple, and our first trip <clears throat> offshore was in 1942 to Alaska. Yeah. And we left a place called Cordova in a Lockheed Lodestar, a small plane. And we said we never were going to fly at night, up there especially, you know. But uh, there was a general called uh, Simon Bolivar Buckner, who was having a big street party for us, and we had to get back. So we got up into this storm. We didn't know there was a storm. We got up and they lost the radio and they mm. put the parachutes and the Mae West on us. We're 13,000 feet over Anchorage and the guy said, when you jump, pull these things, you know. And I looked over at Tony Romano and he turned green so we gave him a little shot of booze and we're all sitting there and I'll never, I always loved Jerry Colonna for one thing because he was sitting there with a trench coat and a Phelps Turkel pot hat on the way down, because it was cold by that time in the plane. And I looked over and I went, and he went. <laughs> <laughs> What's sensitive. gonna be is gonna be, you know? Yeah. And it broke me up, even at the fact. And this, uh, this uh, we, we got into the, uh, the backwash of United Airlines, or felt our backwash, because we, we had no radio, we were just flipping around 13,000 feet. Yeah. He went down and reported we were there, the general put up the anti-aircraft lights and one pierced through the clouds and this pilot followed them down to the field, you know. Wow. And we got out and I want to tell you, boy, I turned into a little girl. They had to carry me away and everything. <laughs> that, oh. that one came to your mind first. Is, yeah, that, the, the is that the most scared that's you've one, been? Yeah, on that's the, the one that scared me. And I had, yeah. We had another one down in the South Pacific where we made a forced landing and I was flying the plane. I probably shouldn't tell this on the air. But I was flying this Navy Catalina from Brisbane to, uh, I wasn't flying, I was just up there, you know, holding the thing because yeah. it's just like a bus after it gets in the air. And the pilot was back there and I was holding the thing like this, you know. There'd probably be a congressional investigation about this. <laughs> but uh, this motor started to go out, two motor plane, and get chicka pa, chicka pa, chicka pa, and the pilot came up to him, get out of there. And I got out of there like Zarina under that bar, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and he and he <laughs> and he feathered this prop, and he called the sergeant. And he said, "Jettison everything on this plane." It was a Navy Catalina with a blister in the back. You know that thing that's jumping up. Big the plastic bubble. Yeah. Started throwing all the suitcases out. We had a big case of cigarettes out, two or three cases of liquor out. You know, landed in a little place called Laurieton, Australia, where he hit. We jumped about 100 feet, hit again, and hit a sandbar. See, stopped little town called Lloyd, peaceful little summer resort town, you know. Mm -hmm. 
Guy came rowing out from the ocean, uh, from the from the ocean, from the shore, yeah. in, a, in a rowboat. We're all standing on the wing by now. He looked up. He said, "I say, there. Do you have any American cigarettes there?" <laughs> and it was, you know, here we are. We're all happy that we're alive. And this cat thinks it's a Pan American stop, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Plane never landed there in this little lake before. Uh, we were very happy yeah. to be down. I'm glad you made it. We we must take a message. We'll be right back. <laughs>